Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ancestors of Africa. You are welcome to Mother Africa. Yes, Mother Africa. You are welcome to the children here the world. Civilization of Africa. Children of Africa. The mother has spoken. Mother Africa. Mother Africa. There's no need to be afraid. We're going to make it through this as a global society. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to make it through it. So, let me tell you something. You've got to protect your own peace. You've got to immunize yourself. You've got to create your own inner ecstasy, your own inner joy. And I'm having a party over there. I'm having imbizo. Oh, yeah. It's its own party over there. It's a six-day affair. Come on over. Come and indulge. Let's go and run there together. Day one, I'm going to help you immunize yourself from outbursts of unproductive anger. Day two, I'm going to help you master the mystery of mirror meditations. Um. So I'm going to give you a simple morning ritual to invoke the genius within you so you can solve any problem that you come up with. You are a genius. And if nobody's ever told you that you're a genius, I'm here to tell you today. There is a genius that lives inside of you. If you choose to ignore that genius, well, shame on you. I'm going to teach you how to bring that genius out. So come on over to futuregenleaders.com. Ooh, you don't want to miss it. Day number three, I'm going to teach you how to balance your left and right brain so that you can avoid adulting burnout. So many of us are running on fumes. We are lovers, we are husbands, we are wives, we are mothers, we are church people, we are business people, we are lawyers, we are architects, we are accountants, we are doctors, we are all sorts. And I don't even know when people get time to wax their eyebrows. Like, I don't even understand. And people have to, like, take care of their families and they should and clean their homes too oh my goodness it's a lot you need to learn how to balance both the hemispheres of your both the right and left hemispheres of your brain so that you always are experiencing ecstasy what's the point of having all this money that you're chasing if you then burn out and have a heart attack and end up in the hospital like why not attractive okay Day number four, we're going to indulge in daily doses of self-forgiveness. So many of us, oh my God, beat ourselves up so much for small mistakes, right? You make a small mistake and you beat yourself up and there's no self-compassion. But we usually learned these kinds of behaviors at home when you were growing up. We don't blame our parents. We just acknowledge, oh, okay, my parents used to beat me up a bit. So now in adulthood, anytime I make a mistake, I beat myself up a lot and I terrorize myself and I abuse myself. If you engage in self-abuse, you're going to love day four, my love, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to learn how to indulge in daily doses of (laughs) self-forgiveness. In day number five, I'm going to teach you how to enjoy some Zulu Zen. Zulu Zen is the bedrock of financial alchemy. If you've ever heard of alchemy, alchemy is taking something and turning it into something else. So you can literally alchemize your debt into wealth. So I'm going to give you rituals to help you rethink wealth. When you've tried working longer hours to achieve everything society told you would make you happy, but now you find yourself waking up miserable. There are so many of us. Oh, yes, we have the degrees. Yes, yes, master's degree, PhD, hanging on the wall. Yet, you are so miserable, even though you got your big house and your fancy car. Oh, yes, right? The debt. Oh, yes. The student debt, oh yes, the troubles, the arguments, the arguments over money, oh yes, mm-hmm. the divorces, oh yes, over debt, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Head on over, futurechenleaders.com, you don't want to miss it, it's that good. And then day number six, order progress and manifestation, orchestrate a life of optimism and opportunity during dark, depressing, and debt-filled days by aligning with three powerful laws in the universe. There are laws in the universe, and those laws will help you get your life into order 
And when your life is in order, your life will progress. And when your life is in progression, there will be manifestation. If there is disorder in your life, there is no progression and therefore there is nothing that happens, right? Depression and sadness and apathy. When you align with fundamental laws of life, there is a, a law of life that the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. It is a law of life. When you align with these laws of the universe, your life must work. You live on planet Earth. You don't live on Mars. Until you learn to align with the laws of planet Earth where you live, your life will be a mess. It won't work. It won't work. You will always have problems. So when you align with the laws of life, the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. It's been doing this for over 60,000 years. Actually more than that, billions of years, okay? So if this has been happening for over billions of years, if you align with these simple laws of just waking up and going outside and say, oh wow, the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. What a fundamental law and what an interesting notion. When you start aligning with these simple laws, your life will work. Your problems will go away. Your debt will go away. You will always have creative ideas to solve all of your problems. Your relationship problems will stop. You'll stop being abused in your relationships because you will start having self-esteem. Everything will start to work because life believes in itself as you. Life believes in you. It created you. It created this earth so that you can have fun. You can play and have fun and enjoy yourself. Life believes in you every single day. It rises, the sun rises and sets so that you can have a fun time on planet Earth. Life believes in you. Life believes in you. You can now start believing in yourself. You can start believing that life believes in you and then start believing in yourself. So head on over to futuregenleaders.com. I have meditations for you for six days. These meditations are going to align you with the laws of the universe. These meditations are going to help you start taking responsibility for being the co-creator with the laws of life. You cannot count the grains of sand. You don't know the prayers of your ancestors. You have no idea the prayers of the universe, the prayers that the universe is praying through you. Just align with the laws of nature. It's just the laws of nature. You live on planet Earth, right? Right, you breathe the air, right? Right. You drink water, right? Right. You walk on the Earth, right? Right. Align with these laws. There will be progress in your life. And there will be good manifestation. Fruitful manifestation. Positive manifestation. Yes? Okay, so head on over to futuregenleaders.com. I got some meditations for you. Oh, yes. We're going to dance. We're going to... We're going to fall in love with ourselves and we're going to learn how to love money. Oh, yes. This is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> I've come to deliver hope. I am the bringer of good hope. I am the bringer of good hope. Head on over to future gen leaders. I'll see you there. Bye for now, babe. You have to say good morning to the trees and kiss the trees and love nature and love mother earth and touch the trees you know every morning i do this it's helpful it makes me feel grounded <laughs> makes me feel happy <laughs> look how much abundance there is like there is so much abundance abundance of trees a tree I had so much fun with the trees yesterday. I sang to the trees. I danced for the trees. 
And then I spoke to Mother Earth. And then look, all the rocks. And all the vegetation. Look at my beautiful. <laughs> I love nature. I love nature. I mean, I do love nature. Okay, I need to get some coffee. Actually, I don't even need coffee. I'm just so jazzed up by just being... Oh, my heart feels better after putting it on the tree. So I put my heart at the tree. I was like, oh, my heart felt better. I was like... I love Earth. I love Mother Earth. How could you not love Mother Earth? The forest! Okay. We're going to do this. Next up, we don't know. Next up, coffee. Love you.